This video is sponsored by GrooveLife.com. They make belts, and I'm sure you've heard of the Groove Ring. They're belts you never have to adjust and have a 94-year warranty. They have many different styles and colors of rings. These are the only breathable rings on the market. Lose it or break it, they will replace it. Check them out at GrooveLife.com. Hey there, friends. Thanks for checking in at the range. Now, today we're going to do a range comparison with the HK VP9B versus the CZ P10C. Both highly regarded handguns, polymer frame, striker fire, four inch barrel models. And I own both, so I really don't have a bias any which way. Let's start with the HK VP9. I recently acquired this. I really do appreciate it. I love it. I, I enjoy HK handguns. A bit on the pricey side, you're looking at $750 for picking this up. It offers a lot, but definitely. A little more expensive than average. 17 round mags is now what HK offers with the VP9. They also make it optic ready. They ship it optic ready. This one is not. It does have a four inch barrel, forward serrations, three dot luminescent sights, excellent ergonomics. And they also offer additional back straps and grip panels so you can switch those out however you want. But it does have a five pound trigger pull. A very nice trigger. HKs are known for that with a very short reset. Polygonal rifled barrel. It does have those cocking ears right there. That's what they call those cocking ears. You get a nice firm grip on it. But you're looking at about 750 bucks for a very fine handgun, by the way. Love HK handguns. But You'll notice when I talk about the CZ that this is quite a bit more. The question is, is it worth it? Let's go ahead and take a few shots. All right, I don't know if I'm shooting in a competition here, but I was going a little too quick. But there it is. Love this handgun. So happy to finally get one after shooting my friend's VP9. That, that is the, the B though. This has the firing pin block, or not block, the button, push button correction. Wasn't sure if I mentioned that. But now we've got the P10C. This is a sweet handgun. Been around quite a while now. Both of them have. This has 15 round mags and also three dot luminescent sights, four inch barrel forward serrations. This has grip tape on it and when they came out with the p10c they made the texturing very aggressive it is a fully ambi gun with the slide stop and mag z release on both sides lefties will certainly enjoy that this has an accessory rail one slot there opposed to the full pick rail that the vp9 has um, but a great shooter, you know, I, I think the trigger pull on this is equally as nice. Now the VP9 has a five pound trigger. This has a five and a quarter pound trigger. Hardly worth recognizing, but the reset is so short. Right there. Both have excellent triggers. You really can't go wrong either which way. And both are fine companies. Manufacturers, they, there are huge fans of each. Now, oh, the price. You are looking at between $500 and $550 for the P10C. So, it, you know, if you get on the lower end of that, you're looking at a $250 price decrease from the VP9. So, you're looking at a much less expensive handgun. Now, the MSRP is $579. However, it used to be $499. But as you know, I don't have to tell you this, but I'll say it anyways. Prices have increased. And there we go. Both are very nice handguns. I have an admiration for each. I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit more excited about this because I've had it just for a couple weeks now but I wanted to get it out and do a comparison and I figured what better than the P10C to compare it with. Now having shot them side by side now for the first time I will tell you that 
both are extremely accurate handguns. Those who know these understand. Both have three dot luminescent sights, which is an interesting thing for a comparison. Both have four inch barrels, both have simple disassembles, both have very nice triggers. Both perform great. The price is much more expensive. We always have to consider that. The price is much more expensive with the VP9B than the P10C. But if I had to choose one, I'm considering the price, I'm going with the CZ P10C. I just think that, you know, the additional two rounds that this offers is nice, but both of them weigh right around 34 ounces. So we're looking at very common a platform type of handgun and both are very nice but if I had to choose just one I'm considering the price I'm going with the P10C having said that I really dig this I really do and I'm so happy to finally have one in my ownership let me know which one you would prefer I cannot wait to hear your choices if you like videos like this please subscribe and share I always appreciate the thumbs up button Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.